Clicky Wednesday! Yay! Clicky Wednesday! What's up, guys, and welcome to my Quickie Wednesday review for Disney Pixar's Up. I'm reviewing this film because this is actually its 10th anniversary, 10 year anniversary today, so it was the perfect opportunity to talk about Disney Pixar's Up. This is one of people's favorite Pixar movies. It's the story, I mean, the first five minutes of the film, we get introduced to Carl Fredrickson and how he meets his soon-to-be wife, Ellie. We get that great montage, how they grow old together. One thing leads to another. She passes away, unfortunately, and now he's left with the house all by himself as an old man. He comes in contact with a young boy named Russell, who is a sort of Boy Scout kind of a guy, and, uh, well, kind of a boy, I should say, and one thing leads to another, and the, the couple's dream was to go to Paradise Falls and take this vacation to Paradise Falls. They'd save up money, but one thing would happen when they would have to break their change jar and have to start from scratch again. So finally, they did sort of run a zoo together, or worked at a zoo together, so he saved a bunch of balloons and stuck them up his chimney and made the wires super long and now he has to lift his house and you know when they want to take him to a retirement home he says you know what screw you guys i'm going to paradise falls and russell the young boy is a stowaway on the house and now this is an adventure film to get to paradise falls to get this house to paradise falls and i'm assuming this is where carl was pretty much going to die you know i mean it's kind of a dark sort of underlying story to this movie you know, if you really think about it, he's going with his house to Paradise Falls. He's probably not going to come back. And, you know, it's kind of sad. It's kind of tragic. You know, he wanted to die where he wanted to go with his wife. And I did really like that. And it does really work for the character. It is very deep. And Pixar tends to do that. They do go deep, which I really enjoy. But this movie also has, you know, it has great humor to it between, you know, Carl and Russell and, and Doug, the dog we meet. The talking dog we meet, he's very, you know, very charismatic, he's very, very fun, he is a very lovable character, and we see that, you know, when Carl was a kid, he had this sort of, not really mentor, but he always looked up to uh, this, this one guy who had this blimp, and, you know, the spirit of adventure, I believe the blimp is called, and he has all these dogs that have these special collars to allow them to talk, which the dogs have an alpha, uh, the, the, the lead dog, you know, so Charles Muntz is the guy's name, and, you know, he had a plan in his life to try to find this, this sort of exotic, extinct, sort of bird-looking thing, which we find, we find on our adventures with Carl and Russell and Doug, and, you know, it's, it's Kevin. We call the thing Kevin, but it is a female, which we find out later in the film, which is pretty funny. But that also leads us to a pretty good drama with, you know, this Charles Muntz guy, and he thinks that, you know, people are coming to get this bird, you know, and he wants to discover it, and he wants to get the credit for it, but he stayed on this island, for, or not island, but in this area for so long because he just wants to find this bird. He keeps sending his dogs out to find it, and finally... When we, you know, they kind of come in contact with each other, you know, Charles Muntz and Carl Fredrickson and, and uh, Russell and, and Doug, he, uh, you know, realizes, these guys want to take my bird, which really that's not the case at all, but it, it's a really good story point, which I could really understand why this movie was nominated for Best Screenplay at the Oscars. The script has so many layers to it. And I did love that. But it is a little kid-friendly as well. But there's nothing wrong with that. This is an animated film. I think with, you know, everything with the talking dogs, you know, with some humor, with the, the thing's high-pitched voice at times. You know, I, I like it, but I don't necessarily love it. And we do get to South Africa, I believe, somewhere around there where we go. Where, uh, Southeast Asia, I don't know. Wherever we want to go with this house to get to Paradise Falls. You know, the adventure kicks in. I did like that. We get a little more to Carl's character. We get a little more to Russell's character with his sort of parentage and all that, which I did really enjoy. But the overall adventure with, you know, the talking dogs and everything, the humor with that really doesn't work for me personally. Um, and I think the movie isn't as compelling as it was in maybe the first act of the film. I think the first act, and especially the first, like, five to ten minutes of this movie, is definitely its strongest point. But I, like I said, I do like the relationship with Carl and, and Russell and all that. I think that movie is a very good villain. I think the score by Michael Giacchino is great. The only Pixar film to win Best Original Score at the Oscars. 
So, you know, that says something. It's probably the best score that a Pixar film has had. I mean, sure, there's a lot of great scores from these movies, but Up has such a memorable score, such a great uh, theme to it. And, uh, you know, it's the second film in history to be, second animated film in history to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. You know, the first being Beauty and the Beast, and the third being actually the year after for Toy Story 3, which I will be doing in a Quickie Wednesday review for me. Doing a Quickie Wednesday review for all the Toy Story films, the trilogy. You know, each Wednesday leading up to Toy Story 4, which I'm very excited to do. But yeah, I, I do really like this movie. And in the end of the day, I'm probably, I'm, I'm anywhere between a 4 and a 4.5 and out of 5. I bounce back and forth. Um, so I'm probably going to give up a 4 out of 5. That could change in 10 minutes, it could change in 10 days. I don't know, but as of right now, I'm giving up 4 out of 5 stars. I do really like this movie a lot. It is a very good family film, and it is a very easy watch, like I said, with a great score, and great animation, great visuals as well. It has a very distinct animation style, uh, which I did appreciate. But guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about Disney Pixar's Up? Are you going to watch it today? It's the 10th anniversary of the movie. Uh, so, you know, let me know that. Also, guys, you can subscribe to this channel, as I mentioned before. A whole bunch of Quickie Wednesday reviews coming in the future, including the Toy Story trilogy leading up to Toy Story 4. Very excited about that. And reviews for Aladdin, Brightburn, Booksmart, Rocket Man, Secret Life of Pets 2. All those are up on this channel now. And guys, you can also follow me on Patreon if you want to help this channel grow. And you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. And guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my Quickie Wednesday review for Up. I'll burn out. Disney Pixar's Up. What do these do, boy? Hey, would you throw that crowd of contigo? I use that collar. What? How she was? How you talk with? I would be happy if you stopped. It's Quickie on, on Wednesdays.